Hi everyone, I'm James Stevenson. I'm a consultant radiologist at the University Hospitals of Leicester and the undergraduate lead for radiology and an honorary associate professor at the University of Leicester. Hi everyone, my name is Vikash Shah. I am a consultant radiologist at the University Hospitals of Leicester and a tutor and honorary senior lecturer for undergraduate radiology at the University of Leicester. Firstly, uh, I'd just like to say thank you to the, uh, the college and the judging committee for awarding us uh, this educational prize. Um, it's not a prize for, for myself and Vikas, this is a prize for the entire team um, who helped us with this project, delivering teaching and getting this uh, across the line. Thank you. So, why did we uh, develop the website and, and get all these uh, lectures into one place? Well, when we came into this uh, post, we, we soon realised that the wide geographical region that our um, students visit uh, meant trying to make sure that everybody got the same teaching um, was, was very difficult. Um, students could spend you know, a few months in the University Hospitals of Leicester, but then be in Kettering or Northampton for a, a, a couple of months at a time. This also then made planning exams very hard because we couldn't be certain that all students had had the same teaching. So we developed the website, it brought together all of our lectures in one space and it also allowed us uh, to move away from repeatedly delivering uh, the same lecture every eight weeks and, and then we could use that time that we had ring fenced for face to face teaching to enhance learning by running sort of tutorial based education that supplemented the, the pre session video lectures uh, that the students would watch. We felt that this increased the value that the, the teachers can bring, and, and student feedback uh, would seem to, to echo that. It would also mean that we moved away from having one-time learning events to having a fully accessible library of content uh, to enable learning and, and revision at any time, um, either in the medical school or away from the medical school. Um, and it means that maybe students in, in year five can revisit teaching they got in, in year one or year two, and it, it's very easy and accessible to do that. It also gave us space to, to list other content, um, to advertise special study modules in radiology, advertise electives within the department, um, and also put on a, a page where there was things about radiology as a career and, and, and how to contact people to, to develop that burgeoning interest. The first step in planning and implementing the project was a meeting to sketch out a list of lecture topics across the preclinical and clinical phases of the curriculum and we sought to identify lecturers amongst not only the consultants but also trainees and radiographers and colleagues in medical physics. We developed template slides in Keynote and PowerPoint to ensure that there was some consistency in the structure of the talks and also a uniform branding theme. I also created a document that would serve as a best practice guide to recording, accounting for the varying computer and audio equipment our colleagues would have available to them at home. Upon receipt of the videos, I then further edited them, with the aim being to have the highest possible quality of audio and video, such that the focus of learning is on the radiology, not distracted by technical issues. These videos were then uploaded to our new YouTube channel. And finally, I created and developed the website and started populating the pages with embedded videos from that YouTube channel, along with lots of other useful information. The website was further refined after reviews from key stakeholders and it went live at the start of the academic year in October 2020. So, how do we think it works? Well, uh, it, it gives a one-stop shop for all our, our video learning. Um, it's on-demand learning for, for students across the whole curriculum from year to one to year five. Um, it, it, it's easily updatable and, and we can Im improve content that's already on there and add in new content at, at the click of a button. Um, and, and it's accessible uh, across a range of devices. It works as well on a, a phone or a tablet or a laptop um, and, and, and can be accessed anywhere. There have been a, a couple of other um, unforeseen uh, benefits of this project. 
One is the sort of reputational enhancement for our, our local radiology teaching team, um, showing that this is this is sort of open access educational uh, material to all, and, and we've ensured that we've branded that uh, with all lecturers using the same slide background. Um, we, we've also noticed that our lecturers have, have upskilled their own IT skills and now are confident in delivering uh, web-based or video-based tutorials, uh, which is very useful in this new era of online teaching that was heralded by, by the COVID-19 pandemic. The next phase of work involves continuing to build the library of content to fill any gaps and to initiate a rolling program of renewal such that we review each recording on a regular basis to ensure relevance and to enhance the quality of the videos from an audio-visual perspective. And that enables further building of our own recording and editing skills. We are engaging our Radiology Educational Fellow to develop the special study module and elective components of the website and are engaging with the Medical School Radiology Society to promote their events. We are proud that as a team we have taken this step to build something that allows students here or in fact anywhere else on the planet to learn and have enhanced the lecture recording skills of our faculty which will undoubtedly be of use in the modern era of online only or hybrid conferences. Thank you very much.